guys, what's up? Nick here with Gage Road Gamers, and we're still here at Mad Monster Mansion, and we still have Kevin co coming. Yep. And... Won't get too tedious. <laughs> we have it. So we many... found the highest point! To the top of the church, save. away! Oh, I was just about to say, save the clock tower! But, um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh no, our mission is losing blood. We've got to save him. Hail Satan! <laughs> oh god, that almost, that actually almost reminds me of that really bad Captain America movie from the 90s where uh, one of the guys who's like, the person who's like, who's working for the Nazis, you know, infiltrating the super soldier experiment, going like, just in the middle of the sentence about to shake hands, uh, shake hands with the scientist who comes in and all of a sudden goes, Hi Hitler! And then shoots, her, shoots the scientist what? dead. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Just, just like he's about to shake hands with the scientist and they just suddenly, it's like a little, like, kind of psych kind of movement and then he goes, and it puts his arm up like, hi, and shouts out, hi, Hitler, in a very hammy way and then takes out his gun and just tops them. Ah, uh, lame. The, the scientist. Yeah, very, it was, it was the 90s, back when comic book movies didn't have the same kind of polish that they the do same now. At least in the, the post-Avengers era, so... So, speaking of the Avengers, I'm looking forward to seeing Age of Ultron so badly. I just, it looks like it's a good, from what I heard from my friend who described the Comic Con teaser to me because he was there, he said it's really, really good. Like, like at one point in the video, Ultron actually says, I've got no strings on me in a very menacing <laughs> tone. And I'm just like, really? Oh my god. And that's just, that's, that's kind of funny and scary at the same Did time. You and yet also very jaws would you be able to uh, explain <laughs> that to me because I, i'm sitting here uh, well if you've ever if you ever if you're familiar with classic disney movies there's a disney adaptation of pinocchio and there's a musical number of where pinocchio's singing i've got no strings okay. on me when he's like been hired by that strong bully guy to basically be a he's a, where he's still a puppet but he's operating without using the strings so He's basically saying, I've got no strings on me. You know, oh. and it's just like a little, it's a, it's a really just, it's a wonder, it's, and it's just a really, it's a kind of cheesy, it's schmaltzy cheesy song because the movie first came out in the forties, but, but it's still, but it's still, it kind of works. It still kind of works for me actually at, at, at least, you know, at, I mean, but still it's, it, it's, it's, I think it's really cutesy, cute song. But yeah, it's kind of a ref it's kind of a nod to that. And then again, Joss Whedon has a tendency to just kind of sneak in little references to different things in his work anyway. Like, like apparently, when if you listen carefully to Tony Stark's dialogue in um, as in uh, the Avengers, at one point he's he's describing how to uh, repair the helicarrier to um, to uh, to Steve Rogers, you know, Captain America, and one of the things he lists is trying to repair the th uh, repair to repair the. Um, uh, the helicarrier is reversing the polarity and if you're a Doctor Who fan that's kind of a running gag in some cases where it's like instead of just instead of just using techno babble to describe what they're going to do to solve the situation the doctor says oh I'm just reversing the polarity it's fine and that was kind of and that started as a running gag as a, a, a back in the third doctor's era so I do have to watch Doctor Who now yeah Doctor Who is such a wonderful, weird, complex, simple but complex, and yet also very contradictory mythology, and, so, and I just love it for that because it's just, uh, just the, I mean, I mean, and I just also love to see all these different fans trying to make sense of like, uh, make sense and come up with reasons on the fly to justify different reasons for why the Doctor has seen Atlantis go down, go down to the bottom of the sea so many times, like. Oh, this was the Atlantis is on our planet, and then the other Atlantis was like on another planet, and it just happened to have the same name as and the same name as ours for some weird contrived coincidence, you know, or something like that. You know, it's just weird little ways to explain away little inconsistencies and, and stuff like that. You know, and, and I, it's one of those sci-fi shows that really just inspires its fan base to be creative, and I can't fault it for that. Creative, in fact. Well, creative in terms of just storytelling, but also just for in other reasons. Like, you know, there's all these different fan-made um, title sequences that 
went on YouTube. In fact, one of them in particular, the person who made it, was actually hired to do the title sequence for uh, for this current season with Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. Really? They actually, like, Stephen Moffat apparently can't, happened to cross the title sequence he made for, uh, made on, he made on YouTube and, and then kind of asked him, like, kind of, kind of contacted him saying, hey, would you mind expanding on your little clockwork concept that you were going for in that title sequence into an actual one for, uh, Peter Capaldi's first season as the Doctor? And he's like, what? Really? Yeah, he's sure. Like, Bang, girl. <laughs> <laughs> And now my ears are broken. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> the audience is now deaf. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. Although, the, uh, yeah. yeah. Although, uh, so speaking of dying, there's actually one thing I actually do like about this version of the game over the original N64 version is that if you die, you don't have to worry about recollecting all the musical notes. Yes. Uh Compared, to, uh, I I just I love that I just I prefer that immensely to how it was in the N64 version. Even though they did give a really good explanation in game that made it canonical why you couldn't, but it's just so much easier for the let's plays if you can keep all of it. Oh yeah, I, and also for speed running if you want to do like a hundred percent speed run of all the levels and whatnot. Well, but, but if you're speed running, you shouldn't really be dying. To be honest. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. I saw. I've seen. Uh, I've. I've seen Pico kind of try to. It was another Let's Player I watched, but don't know. I don't know him, but. Um, okay, so I don't have to link. Dude. No. You, well, you, you, <laughs> no. I, you don't have. To. I'm sure. I'm sure Pico's well enough alone that his presence is enough. Uh, his mention alone is enough to get people to check him out. Although I'm one of those people who became a fan of him before a lot of people started migrating to his channel after watching him do that Battletoads race with Proton John, Super Genius, and Nintendo Capri Sun, so... Not to sound like a hipster or anything, but, yeah. I was I was into Pico before it was cool! No, um... <laughs> if you've heard but, of it, yeah, if it, you've heard of it, it's already too mainstream. <laughs> Oh, and well, in that case, I feel bad for my friend Micah, for, because I was plugging the hell out of him last time. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, oh uh, well, but, but yeah, Micah's a really cool dude, though. He, and I'm also, fr I'm also friends with his, with his girlfriend, uh, who's also a Let's Player, but she's, who, but, uh, but I won't, I won't mention her username, so if, if, if you know, if you know, if you check out Micah's stuff, you'll find her stuff pretty easily because she comment tries to comment on all of his videos. Like, love you, babe. You're awesome. More pizza, please. Uh, in, fact, in fact, in fact, the per uh, the person I co-commentated, uh, who co-commentated with me during Booster's Tower on uh, on uh, on um, on um, say, what was it? Oh yeah, on uh, Mario RPG, he uh, he actually has a he actually has a boyfriend who I actually knew before I they actually started going out, which was kind of interesting. Ooh, really? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, I I met him through I I had met his boyfriend through another friend of mine who uh, who uh, goes to his streams a lot of the time, and I was like, and then uh, and then he, and then he I was, he was I, I was one of the first people he told about the fact that they she, both of them were starting to date because. He kind of wanted to keep it on the down low at the time, and then before going public with it, and and because uh, you know, and uh, and uh, I, I'm like, uh, he's like, I'm like, promise you won't tell anyone. Yeah, sure. And he told me who it was, and I'm like, oh, I know that guy. He's a really <laughs> cool dude. And he's like, I, he's like, how do you know? I'm like, well, one of my friends linked me to one of the streams one time, and I just, and we kind of just, you know, I just started watching his stuff and really enjoyed it. So. Well, that's cool. So, but yeah, it was a really weird thing where I, I knew the person before they started dating. It was kind of weird. And so, but yeah, but yeah, they're and they're really happy, and I'm glad for them. You know? it's always good when a relationship so, works out. Yeah, regardless of who it is, whether it's a guy and a girl, or girl, uh, or a girl and a girl, or a guy. But and a guy, heaven you know, forbid, I mean, if it is a slice of toast and a banana, we're gonna have problems. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Although I do love, I do. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm actually really good. I'm actually good friends with a, a female female couple on uh, Facebook. Like I'm, I like I met one of them. Like I I met one of them. Like 
or like like on like back when form screen was good and we added one other on facebook after form screen started going going the way of the dodo as they used to say and um and we just became really good friends and i honestly had a bit of i actually kind of had a bit of a dare i say it, a bit of a crush on her and then um she and then i and then i went to, and then i found out about her girlfriend and i'm like oh crap um this is oh, awkward didn't go that way huh well good luck to you yeah no, 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 I wasn't like, and I wasn't upset. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, she, well, she, well, she acted to me. No, one. I just kind of, well, I just kind of sent her a message like, hey, could I talk to you for a second? Like, and, and she, I am me saying, hey, what's up? You know, and I'm like, well, I did, I, 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 I just kind of was nervous. And I'm like, well, I promise you won't get upset with me or something like that. And I'm like, what's wrong, Kev? You know, and I kind of told her how I felt about her, and she's like. Oh, Kev, that's so sweet. You're so sweet and kind, but I, there's a little problem. I'm like, I'm like, okay, go on. And she's like, well, let's see, um, I, I, I don't like guys, I, and I have a girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I hope your, whoever you're with you, makes you happy, you know, whatever. And I just, you know, just I, and she's like, and, and she's like, don't get me wrong, you're a really sweet guy, but. You know, I'm just not into guys. I'm like, that's fine, that's fine. I'm, I'm not, I'm, 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 and I was kind of a little bit upset, but then, but then she started kind of said this little smile, and she posted a little smile to me, and I'm like, what, 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 what are you smiling about? And she's like, what, what are you, are you flattered by the fact that I like you? And she's like, well, well, kind of, but also something my girlfriend said that because she's sitting next to me, she said kind of made me laugh. I'm like, well, go on, tell me. And she's like, no, 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 it'll bring me down a little bit more. And I'm like. I'm like, no, no, it's fine, fine. I, who knows? It might cheer me up a bit. And she's like, well, she kind of said that. Uh, she said this, and this is where her exact words. She's like, see, sweetie, I told you there were still guys out there that liked you. And I kind of <laughs> laughed in spite of myself, and uh, despite how awkward it was. And, and and I just thought it was the funniest thing. And you died. Great. Perfect. And, uh, yeah. I have to break the windows <laughs> again. <laughs> Oh no! But still, it was so. But it was so funny, just like, just like, yeah. You know, where she was like, and she just. I, I, I think she kind of knew. I think her girlfriend maybe have sensed that I just had a really good sense of humor and I'd be able to laugh off something like that. And she was actually right on the money. I kind of, I was laughing so <laughs> hard at that. But yeah, but they're both really sweet, and I'm friends with both of them on Facebook, and they just, they're joined at the hip. Right? They just. It's it's really it's really great to see a happy couple like that, even if it is two girls. You know, I just and then again, I I, I support love in all what forms, regardless of who who's with who. Mm -hmm. So you know, to me, love is love, no matter who it is you're with. You know. Oh yeah, Kevin, I have to add you on Facebook. I've been meaning to do that for the past few days, but then I'm like, oh. I sent you a request a while back, but uh, 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 but I tried to send you a friend request a while back, but I guess you kind of turned me down or oh, something, even though I'm no, I mean, I mean but, like but... Uh, my actual like my real name and my real life. Ah, uh, right. Okay, gotcha. Because <laughs> like uh, I I saw you friends list, but I, I wasn't sure if I should send you a friend request or not, so I just kind of just decided to keep my distance for now. But if you want to add me, go for it. <laughs> I will totally do that, because I've been thinking about it for the past couple days, and then I was just like, ah, shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your girlfriend and I were just talking a bit the other day. We were just kind of catching up, because we hadn't talked in, like, forever. Oh, did so. she tell you about the deal? The uh, deal? The what? Oh, uh, I, I, uh, oh yeah, that, yeah, she, she mentioned that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was like, <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mentioned a few things, but I'd rather not get into that here, so. <laughs> Although, uh, although one of the things you mentioned kind of concerned you, and I just, I'd rather not mention that on the Let's it Play is, video. No, it, I completely understand. Yeah, there's some things that are just, you just keep to yourself, I There's suppose. just some so. things you don't post on the internet. Like, like... Well, then, and there is rule thir but then again, there's rule 34. In fact, that's one of the things I actually dread when I, since I'm now a Let's Player, is the fact that someone out there, if they become a fan of me, might 
might be, might invoke rule 34 <laughs> on me. I'm kind of scared uh, of that. I would laugh so hard. I'd probably laugh too, but at the same time, but I'd probably also be a bit <laughs> scared. <laughs> I'd... So... Rule 34! Ah! Stop it! I'm supposed to have answer. And then, and then there's like whatever rule it is the gender reversal thing is, and so, you know, someone might draw like a female version of me like in a final shirt or something. You know what? I would totally enjoy that, except I ask that if anyone actually does uh, draw me as a woman, please do not make me as fat as I really am. Please give me a smoking hot bod, because I don't want to see like all the jiggle jaggle up in there. Yeah... I... Yeah, I, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a girl who's overweight. I mean, my last girlfriend was a bit pudgy, but, you know, whatever. But whatever. I'm, but anyway, I think we're uh, a little bit yeah, we are. on the time. So, uh... That, <laughs> we got sidetracked. So much sidetrack. Alright, uh, uh, next time we'll finish up. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Ciao, amigos.